Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Diana. Today we are talking about Jesus. You have made it. You have walked through the story of Christmas in the Bible. Listen to today's verse. It is talking about this very thing we've been studying about Jesus coming to earth. It's found in John chapter one, verse 14. Here's what it says. It says, so the word became flesh and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the father's one and only son. So John, he was a man who walked with Jesus when Jesus was an adult. And and John learned from his teaching and, and learned from the actions of Jesus. And he wrote these words down. And he says that Jesus was from the Father, that he came to earth, that he became flesh and he made his dwelling, is what many translations say. He made his dwelling among us. He lived with us. He drew near to us. He experienced the daily life and dynamics of everyday life. And John reminds us that Jesus is the one and only Son of God, that Jesus is full of grace and truth. You see, God has had a plan from the start to restore his people back into relationship. And scripture is full of the promises that God pointed to Jesus coming in the Old Testament time and time again. And here's what's true. God made the first move towards us. We were stuck in our own sins, yet God so loved the world that he chose to give his one and only son, that whoever believes in Jesus shall not perish, but have eternal life. What grace, what a gift, that God was motivated by love to do for you and for I and for our neighbors what we could never do for ourselves. That God sent his son, Jesus, in the frailty of a human babe. He was fully God and fully man and he grew and he lived and and he knows what it's like to be a part of life. And and he said, "I've, I've promised you, he's the one that I said could make a way. So today, I wanna invite you to believe in Jesus. If you believe that God sent his son, Jesus, to make a way, you can say right where you are, I believe in you, Jesus, I need you because Jesus lived the perfect life, that he showed us the way of God. And Jesus willingly laid down his life for you and for me and for our neighbor. He took on the sin, the wrong, the error of you and of me and of our neighbor. He was crucified on the cross and three days later, he rose again, conquering sin and death and shame. And Romans 10 tells us, if you simply confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Today, I invite you to believe that Jesus is Lord. It's the message of Christmas.